Hello. I'm still figuring out a greeting that doesn't feel weird, but yeah. Anyway, um, I'm kind of excited about this video. Today I'm going to be showing you a couple of my new favorite items. Uh, so just to cut to the chase, these are my Silent Hill figures. Recently I've been really getting into Silent Hill games. I guess I'm on a bit of a Silent Hill binge at the moment. By the way, I heard that mostly girls like Silent Hill. I don't know how true that is. This sounds kind of weird, but at the same time, a couple of the biggest Silent Hill nerds that I know are girls, so I don't know. Anyway, um, the franchise isn't new to me, but I've recently played the first two games for the first time, and I'm enjoying them a lot. So when I really get into a game or a show or something, I like to own a piece of it, uh, since it's not very often that I enjoy things as much. So these little mini figures here are perfect for me because it's a small reminder of something I like a lot and it fits perfectly into this little thing I have on my wall. Nothing ever fits in it, so it was a pleasant surprise. I'm still trying to fill it up. But yeah, so you may or may not know that there's not a lot of official Silent Hill merchandise out there. Uh, so I actually went and purchased these unofficial items off of Etsy from a seller by the name of Hansbird, and I was not disappointed. Official products are usually preferred and usually seem a bit more premium than unofficial products, but in this case, I was more than happy. First, we're going to look at this twin victim, or the double head, from Silent Hill 4 The Room. This game is one of those that is often crapped on for various reasons, but despite its criticisms, I actually really like this game. Even after recently playing the other games now, I still, I still like it a lot. Not so much for the story, but because this was the game that creeped me out the most. I do scare easily anyway, but this game seriously scared the crap out of me, unlike the other games. By the way, I did a video on the case for the NTSC version of this game a while back, if you want to check it out, but I may have to update that video as I also have the PAL version of that game now, and the case and the contents look so much better than our version. But anyway, this video is not about the game. I need to get back on track. So like I was saying, this is from Silent Hill 4. You can find this enemy in the water prison world, which I believe is one of six worlds in the game. Oh, did I mention that this was an enemy? It's an enemy. Um, one that makes me very uncomfortable. I'm a wimp. Don't judge me. Uh, a twin victim looks like a couple of baby heads kind of conjoined, and it has large arms and hands that it walks on. It looks like it's wearing some sort of cloth or something, but it also has a feathery look to it. It's uh, kind of an interesting design. <laughs> but if you actually look at the figure itself, I think they did a pretty good job of hand painting it to make it look as close as possible to the game. On the back you can somewhat see what would be the feathery bits, so I think they did good there. Did I mention the size yet? I don't think I did. Sorry if you can hear Alex sniffing. <laughs> um, but yeah, so it's pretty small. It measures about six centimeters or two and three eighths inches wide. That's hard to say. Uh, and that includes a little nub on the base. <laughs> and it's about five and a half centimeters or about two inches tall. So it's a cute little thing, and I think the detail for this is outstanding considering the size. Um, it also includes a removable rem removable it includes a removable base which you can use optionally, and it stands on a tile pattern floor. I think it might be because the water prison world where you find this enemy has a lot of tiles everywhere, but I don't know. I mean, either way, the pattern it it looks nice with with the uh, twin victim here. But yeah, overall I'm just very happy with the quality of it. I've always thought this enemy is really fascinating and I'm really glad I was able to find this. Next we're going to take a look at the Groaner. The Groaner is a common dog enemy similar to the Cerberus dogs in the Resident Evil games. Uh, it's originally from the first Silent Hill game. You can find them after only a few minutes of wandering the town in Silent Hill. Um, to take an enemy that looks like this, 
and turn it into a detailed model like this is pretty cool. This little guy is smaller than the twin victim I mentioned earlier. It measures about four and a half centimeters or one and seven eighth inches long. Again, including that little nub that sticks out. And it's about three centimeters or one inch tall. And these measurements are approximate. As you can see, my ruler is crap. So yeah, anyway. For this being even smaller, I actually find that this one probably has even more detail than the twin victim. Again, it has an optional base that it fits perfectly into, but you can easily set this down without the base and it'll still stand up okay. It appears to be standing directly on some chipped away concrete, which is fitting since these games love to break off the roads and paths, so I feel like that's kind of where that comes from. But it also appears to have like a pole or maybe a piece of wall or debris that sticks out a little. And I think it's really a cool detail that gives it more dimension. This is also hand painted and like I mentioned the detail is really really good down to the very small teeth and the eyes and even just the discolored skin of the dog. You can really see like all the little details of the spine and the muscles and so on. Again, I'm far from disappointed. I think it looks fantastic. So anyway, just to wrap things up, I'm super happy to have bought these and just as a shout out to the seller, I wanna say thank you to Hansbird. Um, the Etsy merchant is lo located in Russia, but I still managed to receive free shipping to the US and they came in about a week and a half. Not to mention that both of these figures came with a couple of Silent Hill stickers as well um, as just an extra bonus. Um, and the seller's name is engraved at the bottom of the bases on both of these figures, which I completely understand and it's fine. And at the same time, I also appreciate it because it's pretty discreet. But this isn't a paid promotion of, of any kind or anything like that. I'm just really happy with these and so if anybody looks at this and wants to check it out uh yeah i will leave a link in the description and i recommend i recommend you give them a look <laughs> okay so anyway i'm i'm done with the shout out there if you enjoyed this video and want to see more please let me know in the comments I'm still kind of newish at this stuff and I don't really know what people want to see. So any recommendations are appreciated. Um, or just say hi and I'll say hi back. But yeah, I'm kind of refraining from doing like gameplay videos because I feel like everybody does that. So I'm trying to do things a little bit different. But anyway, let me know what you want to see and I will definitely consider it because yeah, I don't know what else to say anyway um i think i'm supposed to ask you to like and subscribe and stuff but that still feels weird so yeah do what you want <laughs> anyway thank you for watching